Okay, I'm going to try to show you real quick in this video, if I can get this camera to stay on. But you can see my loader valve right there, okay? Right below that, right down here, this, this valve right here, this is the block that I'm talking about, right underneath the floor pan, okay? Now, this hose right here, on mine, this is where the Power Beyond hooks into on mine. Now, I know it's coming from back there, but the reason why is because I have a backhoe on this tractor. So my Power Beyond line is actually this line right here. And it goes up, and it comes to this valve right here. And I don't know if you can see it or not, but right there, right there embossed, it's labeled with green paint. Right there it says BY, stamped embossed, beyond. This line goes all the way back to the back of the tractor, because I have a backhoe, and it's this line. When the backhoe is not on here, it connects back into it comes back up here, dumps into this. If you don't have a backhoe, then this line from this valve up here will come straight down and go right into this port. Now this tractor here is an L2800. It's a different model than yours. The chances are it's pretty much going to be the same. Um, the line that actually feeds the three-point comes out of the back of this, and you can't really see it. Like, here's one line right here. Then there's multiple other lines on the back of there that come out and go up, and they connect in underneath here. That's one of them right there. That line right there is feeding everything for the three-point. So, if they've got one of these lines hooked up backwards, either down here or up here where they replace this valve, then it's going to cause that not to work. So if you look up, that's an off-brand loader, and it's probably an off-brand valve. If you look up that valve, you need to find out which one of the ports on that valve is for the power beyond. And make sure it's hooked up to the correct one of these on this distribution box. Since you don't know if it worked after you got it back, there's really no way to tell. If you would have said, yeah, it worked when I first got it back and then it stopped, then the next diagnosis would be underneath there, the actual piston that runs this three-point up and down the seal probably went bad. So that's probably the next place you would go, would be there. Anyway, I'm going to try to get this uh, uploaded to you pretty quick if I can. Hope it helps.